Ladies and gentlemen, with you, the best show of all the shows, the show that changes the world of podcasts. Facts. Al oscuro por negro, you go for any topic, el duro de lo duro, el fuerte de lo fuerte. With Jay, el golito lindo de la radio. Y Jason Navi, what's up, people? Crispin in the house, and all of you motherfuckers is a bunch of shit eaters. That's perfect translation for you. <laughs> that's, that's translation. <laughs> All right. So we're going to speak now on um, how to get guys to ask you with ease. And since we're a bunch of guys, I'm assuming that we all have an opinion on what's the proper way for a girl to approach us and convince us to ask them out. So what are your thoughts? Wow. Wow. Um, my thoughts wow. on this is like, um, to be honest, it's more... Of her asking the right questions, you want to say? Um, being so, making it seem like she's not trying to throw herself on you. Because, I mean, most guys, when you girl want to throw themselves on you, you're like, like, whoa, like, you know. She a help. Is it, yeah, she, she wants this, this for me, and then that's it. It's not like her, you know, pinpointing, okay, I want, I want to make it seem like I want you to ask me out, but... I don't want to seem like I just want to have sex with you. So do you, need, you think it needs to be clarified whether what the intention is? I'm not here just to fuck. I'm here to try to engage with you something more. Correct. Make the intention of your, like the way you, you're making it seem more clear towards the I'm looking to get to know you kind of less date before it goes anywhere else. And now, how does a woman do that? Because that's, that's really what we want to get. How does a woman get to show to Jay, hey, Jay, listen, I'm not a hoe. I do want to fuck you, but I want to be in a relationship with you. I want to say maybe more through conversation. Um, if you think about it, in a, the, the way they, the way they speak to you. Okay, wait. Isn't the isn't the question how does she get you to ask her out in the first place? Yeah. Yes. You, okay. So to me, it's not be scrawny. You know what? Oof. Is that, Can you explain that, that that's please? That's the way that's the way you say it. It's scrawny being like a little. I'm gonna trust you on that one, like, but like, no, like, <laughs> like, like 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 being um. Thinking that you're the shit, you know what I mean. Okay. When you think you're the shit, that means you you put in a wall in front of yourself. So it's harder for us to be actually interested. Like you, we look at you like she's cute, but her attitude's kind of shit. So I don't want to go over there and ask her out. You know what I mean? So are you talking about like social cues, like somebody yeah, yeah, stuck yeah. to the Instagram, stuck to the phone type thing? Yeah, stupid, stupid shit like that. Like, oh no, I'm with my friends. Like me and my friends are bad. Like we don't need to talk to your ugly ass, or whatever. You know what I mean? We don't want none of that. Like if you do that, that means you don't want nothing with us. Even though you do, but you acting up all crazy. You know what I mean? So and, what you're trying to say is that it's much more difficult for men to approach a girl who's in a group of friends. No, nigga, let me finish. Okay, my fault. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What I was trying to say is that if you are friendly from the get, like if you cool, like everything, guys are more prone to be like, yo, she's cool and she's cute, you know, let me go talk to the shorty, you know what I mean? But if you're not, you're like, you know what, bitch, you cute, but so you ugly much- too, asshole. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so pretty much don't be stuck up, right? Yeah, okay. don't be scrawny, you know what I mean? Without being a bitch. I don't fuck. Know. <laughs> to me? If you're glued to your phone, if you're in a group of friends, I probably won't approach you. Like, I, even if you're feeling me, but if I get if I get the vibe that you're feeling me, I want to talk to you. But if you're in a group of friends and just because you're in a group of friends, you're like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, nah, Then it's like, all right. So, like, oh, to make me feel uncomfortable. So is it, is, it uncomfortable for you, is it uncomfortable for you for a girl to be in a group of friends for you to approach her? Yeah. If I'm by myself, yeah. Why is that? I don't know. But it'll, I don't know. It'll just be... I'll have... Getting shut down in the back of my mind the whole time, especially in a group, in a group of people. So, but if it's me and somebody else, then I really wouldn't care. Like, let's go for it. I just think but, yeah, you got to keep it a hundred bucks to who you are. Like, not even with me, who you are. Like, if you cool, be cool. If you like a freaking bitch, be a bitch. You know, you know how know people I mean? change when they're in a group yeah, of yeah. people. So when you're in a group of people. You can't just be like, oh, now nah, I'm here with my bitches. You know what I mean? Like, yes, oh, yeah, yes, 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 bitch. Like, no, bitch, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck you mean? If you're a girl that goes to school and studies, you can't be a fucking gangster outside. You just can't. It doesn't work. Uh, uh, 
it, you know it doesn't work. It, like it doesn't work, bro. Like if you <laughs> if you go to school and you're a gangster, you be a gangster in school too. And niggas know like she's a gangster. She gets straight A's, but she's a gangster. Like if you in okay, school okay, and people see you like, yo, that's the geek from down the street, dog. And then you go to the club, <laughs> oh, they can making a clap and shit, bitch. Okay, so this is my thing. I feel like. And this, this, attention to la mujer, and that means in, in English, uh, attention all the women. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect translation. Perfect translation. But, but my thing is, like, I feel like when women give certain social cues to men without even noticing. So, like we just previously said, being stuck to your phone. If a girl stuck to her phone, it's much difficult for a guy to approach you because nobody wants to burst your little moment that you're having on Instagram or your little moment that you're having on Twitter. Or like, your Snapchat filters. Exactly. Or your Snapchat filters. Nobody wants to come out with them. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? So, I think that also provides men with a more of a like, eh, I don't know if I should. And I think every time you provide someone with one of those, it's much more difficult for men to approach you. And when it comes to being a group of friends, I think that also has to go along with confidence. Some guys are not afraid of rejection. Some guys are going to be like, yo, listen, it's a numbers game. If I approach 20 girls, if one out of 20 girls is going to say yes, I'm going to approach 20 girls because one of them is going to say yes. That's 2%. Even, hey, listen. Uh, <laughs> no, I, think, 20? I, think it's, I think it's higher than that. No, see, uh, one other, it's 1 out of 20. What is it? 1 out of 20. Out of 20. Damn, you're going to make me do math right here on the spot. One out of 20. It can't be 20%. No, no puede ser 20%. Si es una de 20, tiene que ser... Ese viene siendo un por ciento. Fu, 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 fu. 1%. That's a 5%. 5%? That's a 5%. Right, Damn. I'm going to check that just to verify my math. That's right. Is. Anyway, so <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, is that it's, it's difficult for men um, who are, I guess, the regular men. It's difficult for them to approach women in a group. They say it's 2%. A, 2%? 2%. Okay, so I got correct. 2%. Whatever. Anyways. That was close. Um, it's difficult for men to approach them because you're, 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 oh, fuck. I got, me tranqué por fin. Men aren't willing to get into rejection. The average men. Men who are willing to f- feed into rejection are usually the players because at the end of the day, they don't really care because one, of, one, one out of 20 girls is going to say anyway. yes to me. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm not a player. See, no, that's what it is. And, and, <laughs> and I agree with you. Men, men who are willing to approach women on a regular basis, on a regular spot, on the jump, for the most end, happen to be players because they're so used to saying getting yeses so one no out of 20 girls man eh, okay that's alright I didn't want your ass anyway that's, exactly then you get that, that response that, that's the response that's always you response. ugly anyway bitch like now wait for men that do that nigga chill nigga, she just said no cause she didn't want nothing with your ass either nigga she shut the fuck up would, cool. would you would you guys say that in the society that we live today women need to go out more uh, or go out to places where they are going to meet men. Yeah. Go to some sports bars or some shit. You know what I mean? But guy, you throw, yeah, I would, I would hella, have to agree. There's yeah. hella guys over there. I mean, there's hella girls there, too, that are fans of sports. But there's a bunch of dudes there. So you will find a whole group of jocks from high school that used to be the man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that couldn't make it to the league, any league at that. And then they're there. The, the, the cute looking niggas, the... The white rich niggas watching the lacrosse games and the, the Dominican niggas watching the baseball game. The black dudes running to the basketball games and the football games. The That's p- racist. <laughs> 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 the Mexican niggas play soccer. You know what I, you know what I mean? Hey, I'm not racist. So I, I watch everything. So you'll, you'll, you'll have a variety of Yeah, you have a variety of men. Tall, small. Or- Tall, small, higher. short, skinny, fat, all of them, nigga. Just like here, see? Tall, <laughs> small, skinny, fat. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, so I think, I, think, I think that's true. I think, I think women need to start placing themselves in situations where they're going to find a quality of men. And like you said, you are going to find those jocks who are still jocks to this day. But you also maybe find bump into like Jay. Jay likes watching all his games and betting and shit. So, Facts. you know what I mean? You might bump into Jay. You might bump into a nigga that bets and has hell of money. Exactly. So, you, you might know. Find a sugar mean, daddy, a sugar puppy. <laughs> what? I'm not on that level yet, by the way, but I'm almost there. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies, listen. I think you should, for, and and I think this is a recommendation part. What would you recommend women? And what I'm going to recommend women is, I think you need to place yourself in a situation where you're going to find different type of men. If so you're interested. my promotion comes here. Make sure to hit me up and come party with me every single weekend. And listen, I got enough guy friends. To put you on. So DM me, send me a little message, and tell me what type of guy you like, and you know, I might just set something up for you. 
And you can also come out party with me. Um, you have another variety of guys. Don't party with Jay. Fuck don't off, party nigga. Don't. God damn. And, you know, maybe you don't even have to cross the bridge to see a guy. I mean, you know, it happens. I'm going to both say I'm going to keep it a stack. Go out with a group of girls. Get your group of girls and go where men are only in, bruh. What do you mean? Like, do you see the sports bars? There are probably going to be like 10 girls in there. But if you go in with 10 other girls that the guy's never seen in there, Oh, you, you get them niggas. You know what I mean? You're going to get the attention. <laughs> You're going to get attention, you know? And go in heels. Don't even go, like, on some... Go go sexy as fuck. And that's it. You good, you know? Don't come out with me because I don't have friends. My friends are right here. And I, there's five more. And then, yeah, all of them got girlfriends. So <laughs> they'll eat. With me, with me I, can't, I can't hook it up. I'm sorry. I mean, I got frat brothers, but I don't really hang out with them like that because I have a girl, too. So I don't go out. So <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> Um, nah, I mean, go out. You guys can go out anywhere, um, but put the phone down. If you put the Stop phone down, the you'll Snapchat. get more people approaching you. Put the phone down. Go to Jason's house. He's single. Well, damn. I don't know about uh, all that. God damn. Yo te vendo a Jason ya que vendelo. Cinco pesos los minutos. Los minutos, cinco pesos. But Damon just, Damon just said something very important. Go out with a group of friends look fucking sexy Fly and style. trust and believe guys will approach you. If, you. if you're looking good with a group of friends, listen... One guy might not approach you, but she might approach your friend. So you help your friend out. You should not say it's, it's, it, it's a Damn. group effort here. It's a group effort. And listen, don't forget that this is the show that changed the world for the podcast system here. Facts. Your girlfriend's trendy topic. El duro de duro, fuerte de lo fuerte, el negro que te lo hace lo curo. El golito lindo de la radio. Y Jason David. Crispin in the mother freaking house. And y'all niggas ain't shit eaters anymore. Y'all niggas is cool, right? Y'all niggas is cool. Zip it. Bye-bye.